Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to add a, an additional case status to your cases. So what is a case status? This is essentially how you know what part of the process a case is in. And this is totally gonna to depend on a bunch of different factors, mostly just what your workflow is for the different types of cases that you handle. You can have different statuses that are specifically for external cases and for internal cases, and you can differentiate between the two. But for today, what our example is going to be is that we're going to add two new escalation statuses. So we're gonna have escalation level two and escalation level three added to our statuses. Over here up top, you can see the status. If we were to go to edit this case, let's go ahead and find our status is new and we have a bunch of other statuses. It does have escalated, but I wanna add an escalated two and an escalated three because there are multiple levels of knowledge that will be working on cases. So that'll just help us report better and report in more in depth on our cases and hire appropriately. So let's go ahead and jump into the object manager. So what you could do is you could go to setup. You can even go to service setup because this is for cases, but I'm just gonna go directly to the object here. That's a super nice shortcut. And then go to fields and relationships. So now let's go ahead and scroll down to status here. All right, now let me zoom in because it's a little bit big. All right, so now we can see we have our different cases statuses here. So I'm going to add new. All right, now we can add multiple. They'll just need to be each one with a new row. So I'm gonna have this be escalated one, then escalated two, and I'm going to delete that space because sometimes that'll mess you up. I am going to click save. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these ones. What we can do is we can reorder them. So I want to move them up towards escalated. So let's go ahead and grab both of them. Move them up there. Oops, I meant to say escalated two and escalated three, but you guys understand the whole gist of this. All right, I am going to hit save here. Okay, let's go look at them. Let's make sure that they are activated. So yeah, they are activated because if they were deactive, then this button right here would say activate rather than deactivate. We can differentiate between default and if these statuses are closed, the escalation statuses are going to be open. So I'm going to leave the closed unchecked and default is going to be new. All right, those should be good to go. Let's go ahead and test this out here. I going to refresh the page. Make sure that every time you make a change while you're testing, go ahead and refresh that page if you're not going to a new page. So then you can make sure that you have um, everything set. So over here on the details, I can click on the new and let's go and check. Yes, escalated one and escalated two are there and we can save that. There we go. We have changed it to a new status. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, you can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.